That is, people come together in Birmingham, as they have done in about 50 other places in the, in the country, mm. to, and indeed across the world, to speak and act and demonstrate in favor of climate justice. Um, I mean, as you know, we have climate challenges, what, what was global heating and so on, and unfortunately it's hit, hitting the poor people worst, and therefore something has got to be done to make things better for them. And things have been happening in Glasgow, but we have our own take on that, and by and large we feel that it's only a start, it's not nearly enough. Well, I think what we've heard about has been the general need to um, reduce global emissions because for the benefit of future generations, and that's very important. But what has not been stressed is that most of the emissions have been caused by rich countries and rich people and are still being caused by rich countries and rich people. But the people who have been suffering have by and large been poor people in poor countries from the hurricanes, the storms, the droughts and things like that. And um, money and legislation has got to be put in to shift the balance, both for the advantage of those poor people, but ultimately for the advantage of the world. Well, I don't know how much more we'll get in the next week. I mean, up to the moment, I think it's as uh, sort of compared with, say, Paris, I think it's been disappointing. Um, I mean, we're starting, admittedly, from a much stronger base because by now everybody agrees, virtually everybody, that, that climate change is a real problem. Um, so it's a matter of action, not words. And not enough action has been pledged. So you had a certain amount of pledges, and of course pledges may or may not happen, but not too much action. To give you one example, that for 10 years now, the poor countries of the Global South have been pledged $100 billion per year to help them deal with climate change. But that has never actually been provided, in part of it. And even now, um, the COP26 has said, well, they hope that in a couple of years' time, we'll have reached that level. But in fact, much more than that is required. So, um, yeah, that's disappointing. But more could be provided. And what I think is particularly important is changing the regulations and the legislation so that it favors renewables rather than fossil fuels. I think if you can set the markets in a fair way, then you'll get much more private investment coming in because people are interested now and that could make a lot of change. So even though, you know, what's up front from the conference is disappointing, I think there are things going on beneath which are important. And what is also important is the public opinion that has been influenced by the conference going on, the sort of energy that has come. We've had a thousand people in Birmingham and, you know, this has happened to you all over the country, etc., etc. And hopefully this will make change. But, I mean, we don't know. It's a campaign precisely because it's uncertain. Yes, our absolute force for good, yes. In a, in a sense, uh, as I suppose in, I, I'm, I'm in agreement with them because, as I was trying to indicate, in terms of what has sort of actually been done, it's very disappointing. Uh, though I think it's probably not the whole story. Indeed, she is part of the story, and you know I think the total story is not so bad. I mean, you know, the end of the thing is not until the fat lady sings, and that hasn't happened yet. She she did a lovely tweet which said that. Um, people have accused her of using bad language and she says she will stop emitting bad language because she will counterbalance it by being nice to lots of different people, which is, you know, a sort of um, play on global emissions and, and renewables and things like that. Well, I mean, there are obvious things that one can do in terms of one's own lifestyle, 
in terms of transport, you you know walk and cycle more, and, you, and public transport, and use the car less. In terms of heating, um, go on to a renewable electricity tariff. In terms of what you e uh, eat, eat less meat, and um, so on. Um, in terms of, of a congregation, there are things that can be done in the church building to make it much more sustainable and have better insulation, which of course one can do in one's own house as well. But then there's also things that can be done in the community and um, people and churches can have a really big influence because we represent, I think, the broad middle. You know, we're not extremists, we're not campaigners um, necessarily. And if we indicate to our local councillors or to our local MPs that we are really concerned, we don't have to have the answers. In a sense, it's for them to produce the answers, but we can indicate that we are concerned. And there's a lot of expert advice if people want it. I mean, Friends of the Earth, um, and we have a diocesan people who can give advice. And um, so, uh, and there are a couple of good websites, one called Footsteps Birmingham, and one uh, also the web pages on the diocesan um, website. So uh, there's a lot of help that people can have. And I think one of the really good things is that this common concern brings all sorts of people together. In a way, I mean, often people come, to, uh, come together because they want to sort of get at or beat somebody else. But there's no enemy here. You know, we're all in this together. And it's thrilling to find different faiths working together, to find us working with people from different political parties, left wing, right wing. You don't have to be left wing. You can be perfectly right wing, be concerned about this. Working together and helping one another and learning from one another. Uh, and, you know, that gives encouragement, that gives hope. And obviously, uh, I being a retired minister, the Christian faith is very important to me and the care of the planet which God has given us is very important, justice, being concerned for the neighbor, being concerned about the future, because if we're saving souls, we want to be sure there are some souls to save in 100 years' time.